Stranger Truths, about to tell you what's going on. If you don't know, you're about to know. I need no music, no background noise, no photos, no news feed, none of that. It's plain and simple, it's right in front of your face. Everything's been going on, has been direct violation of our civil rights. Government cannot tell you when or how to live your daily life. But it's been done. These so-called vaccines coming for a so-called virus. The numbers are flaky. I mean, there's tons of information out there. You just gotta look it up. I ain't about to preach to nobody about what's going on with this virus shindig. But they're using it. Regardless, money markets all over the place, up, down, down, up. People losing it, police brutality, hate groups paid hate groups destroying your country right in front of your face changing the laws <clears throat> without proper channels being established no sit downs no bills being passed no council members violence vandalism All while, everyone's watching. America used to be the great experiment. Everyone all over the world watching how this nation of great imagination and freedom, so-called, stays on top. Now, it's been handed over to another system, another ruler, their own set of rules and ideas, their own agenda. They have control of the media, the CDC, health, control of the money, the markets, and they took it right from you. As soon as they declared this a national disaster, FEMA, took over everything. We started issuing out laws and mandates that the citizens must follow. For what I've seen, some have been following the rules. Most been waking up. It's really not about a virus. It's not about proper police conduct. Not to them. It's all about the chess game. While we making our moves, tearing down statues, protesting, get your bullhorns and you know, mark a lot signs and your red paint and your mask. They're making moves with other countries, having talks. Merkel even stating we have to be prepared for the United States to not be a superpower anymore. And we will have to conduct our trade and business likewise. But when do people wake up? It's gonna to be too late. What you gonna do? The food's already no good. Wendy's already stopped selling meat because of meat shortage. Wait till the produce go up. Kind of things like toilet paper, tissues, hand sanitizer. Totally went out of stock just for one scare. Small scare. Gun sales skyrocketed. No one's coming to invade the country. They're just letting y'all tear it down for yourself. Now, the real question, are we gonna wake up, chase the enemy out, reset up our established law, make some changes so we all go that they benefit and can live under these laws without bias. Also, meanwhile, the main important thing is they're telling you when you can work where you can work, where you can visit, where can you relax, where can you parlay, where can you pray, where can you go to church, when can you go to church? Gross violation. Get arrested, 
by having church service, taking away the praying, taking away God. And by God, I mean the Creator. You gotta be careful about what God needs. You mention, you can't just say God no more. You gotta make sure you designate the Creator. Whether you know it or not, <laughs> some people out there worshiping different gods and don't even know it. But that's not the point. And then they'd be like, wear your mask. Gotta wear your mask. Plexiglass shielding on every register, every counter, distance, separation, vaccines coming, mandatory, not just in the states, around the world, it's coming. So either this is going to be total chaos, bedlam, anarchy, or we're going to wake up. I don't know. It's looking very complacent right now. People you, you thought were awake, paying attention, aren't really that awake. And they're really not paying attention. And smooth guys sliding on in, taking everything right from under them, like a thief in the night. You're going to wake up one morning, you're going to find yourself in a strange place, a strange country, a strange world. And you're like, when did this happen? It happened a long time ago, buddy. Can't even post stuff. People getting taken down. Truth. People do have a channel. It's getting views or getting exposed. They're trying. But daily, every month, they're taking them down. Despite the executive order that was passed, they really can't do that. No, they can put you in a corner somewhere to where no one can find your videos and they won't see it suggested. Still doing it. So, I hope this video makes it to you. Sit down and think what's going on. Do your research. Look it up. There's imposters everywhere. They're faking. They say you're brethren, that they're not. They got the smile with the knife behind their back and a syringe. <laughs> People just dying into it. Diving right into it. But straight facts, stranger truths. This is definitely stranger than truth. Out.